Hey there, Laura. It is Jay here at Rorick Mazda. Thank you once again for the time and the opportunity to help kind of go over this particular vehicle. Now, granted, style is, of course, subjective. I had pulled this one up because this is actually one of my favorite colors on the CX-5 Turbo. But then judging by my pants, shoes, shoes and socks combination, you know, I might not be the best person to take uh, styling advice from. But regardless, going over the CX-5 Turbo, which is here in front of me, the good news, it's going to be directly competitive in terms of size and as well as features that you're used to in your Lexus. Now, all of these vehicles are going to have your 19 inch blacked out alloy wheels. And what's super cool about the turbos, you'll notice that you have this really kind of like gloss black that goes all the way across the bottom up through the wheels, black around the mirrors and the pillars and a grill that is all blacked out as well. So it kind of gives it like a very, very mean look. Now up front, if I zoom in, Lexus, they have kind of like the check mark uh, daytime running light. Your CRs are sort of like two backwards little like laser L's, if you would. And then much like up front, if you've ever washed your vehicle, that big Lexus logo is flat. So is our Mazda emblem because all of your safety and sonar lays behind there. So features that you were used to, like all of the collision avoidance, all of your adaptive cruise control, the lane departure with the automatic steer to help back or keep you in the lane, your blind spot monitoring system, your backup camera, all of that is standard. If anything, we actually have a few more safety features, things like uh, collision avoidance in the rear, you'll have your uh, cross alert and so forth. Now, kind of going along to the side here, I'm gonna open up the door. So you'll see interior wise, everything is going to be black with a red stitch, which I have to like. You have dual power seats on both sides, two-way memory, so very similar to Lexus. And in fact, even the design is very similar, kind of this rising center console, you have your big screen up on top. Now I know that the NX used sort of like a track pad that Lexus actually got rid of. So with this, you'll see this is going to be sort of that rotary dial, which is a little bit more intuitive in my opinion. Now up here, headliner, here's a big difference is for some reason in the NX, you could only get like a premium audio in the NX 300, which is still Lexus brand. You couldn't get their high-end Mark Levinson system where this particular vehicle does have the Bose 3D audio, as you can see there. In fact, you'll even see those tweeters kind of hiding in the windshield pillars for additional sound. Now this is gonna be a wireless charging pad up here because your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto are wireless. I'll be honest, the NX300 that we had was a 2021 model. I can't quite remember if the CarPlay was wireless. I think it was and didn't require a connection, but I could be wrong. So just uh, don't quote me on that because unfortunately I don't remember. Now going along here to the rear, of course you'll have your rear vents. Here's another sort of added feature is you will see that these back seats are heated as well. So that way, if you like people enough and there is two USB ports that they hid back here. So that way customers or customers, uh, that way passengers would be able to uh, charge their devices. Now going along to the rear, you'll see that shark fin antenna. And this is that rear spoiler I was talking about. So you will see it sticks back. But unlike the Lexus, which kind of goes over the back window, Mazda does not because they want sort of the air to slope down and create a little bit better of aerodynamics. Now in the rear, you'll see that you have sort of those same laser sort of uh, taillights, if you would. You have your big dual exhaust pipes and some gloss black. You have your turbo badge because this is a high performance model. So even though your Lexus was a two liter turbo, this is a 2.5 liter high compression turbo. So this does make significantly more torque and will have significantly better performance. What makes this unique is obviously you had mentioned, you know, the time was just kind of crazy and, you know, buying might not be the same as it was two years ago, but this does run on regular gas. I know Lexus, you have to use premium where you can just run regular old, good old cheap gasoline through this and you won't take a dock in performance. Now, further branching on a couple things here, of course, you'll see those are your memory seats. You'll notice that you have kind of more of a or digital oriented display up here, which is different again from the Lexus, which I believe you had two analog gauges. Now hopping in here, you'll see this is going to be your screen where everything is controlled down through here. You have a little bit of ambient lighting that shines down on the console. Of course, you'll see your standard size sunroof up there. 
If I shift into reverse, you are going to see you have your high resolution backup camera with cross alert. And then just going over a few more things here, you might see it's hard to tell because it's white in front of me, but you might see zero mile per hour floating right up on the windshield. And that is your head up display. So as you're driving, so much information will show up there on the road. Things like traffic signs, speed limit signs, even things like navigation directions will show. Now further branching here, you'll see this is your heated steering wheel. You'll see those heated seats and the best part, those cooled seats for driver and passenger. Now granted, I could sit in here and go over this vehicle for another five to 10 minutes with all of the features, but then at that point, it would be a five to 10 minute video and it's already at the five minute point. So I'm gonna quickly just back this one back up in its parking spot and just show you a couple other colors. Perhaps I was a, a little bit jumping the gun grabbing my favorite color, but... So the other color option that I have to say I absolutely love is the white. So you'll see the white is very, very high contrast versus something like the blue because everything is sort of blacked out. You have the black wheel arches, the black wheels, you have the white paint. And kind of just going along to the rear here, you'll really see sort of that contrast kind of in the rear and then down the side. So that's white and blue. Now, if you wanna be what I call like the uh, low rider, like Sam and Tyler right in front of me, you can do the black on black, which is this particular one. So it's kind of like all black everything. And then one of my favorites as well, which is the bright soul red crystal actually has a lot of contrast with the black. So those would be kind of your color options there. And in fact, there's another white one right there as well. So just walking down the line, obviously there's white with the black accents and turbo. Here is the soul red crystal with the black accents in the turbo. The black with all of the black accents in turbo and the eternal blue with all of the black scents in turbo. So hope this helps, Laura. I appreciate the opportunity and uh, thank you again.